Alright, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. Today's video I think is going to be a little bit of an interesting one and an appropriate one considering the fact that the Arnold Classic is just around the corner. Let's talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger, specifically Arnold Schwarzenegger's sons, his oldest son, Patrick Schwarzenegger. So some photos recently came out of Patrick looking a lot bigger than he usually looks, specifically a lot more muscular than he usually looks. And this is pretty interesting because up until this point, the only son that had really expressed interest um, in pursuing bodybuilding or fitness or really building a muscular physique was his son, Joseph Bania. That is the son that he had outside of the relationship with Maria Shriver. You guys might have seen on the news recently that divorce was just finalized between Arnold and Maria after all these years. But Patrick is actually the oldest of all the sons. So Patrick is 28, Joseph is 24, and then Arnold's other son, Christopher, is also 24. Now, Arnold's two daughters, I believe, are the oldest, Catherine and Christina, who are 30 and 32. So anyway, back to the point. What I think would be interesting in this video is to compare some pictures of Arnold in his teenage years of bodybuilding, or maybe his younger years of bodybuilding, at least the years that we think that he might have been natural or as close to natural as possible compared to um, his sons, because obviously into his late 20s, Arnold was a full-blown professional bodybuilder, um, significantly further along than both Joseph and Patrick are in their journeys. But if we compare some younger photos of Arnold, and um, we can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of the similarities between them. But also an interesting comparison here um, would be Joseph and Patrick, who looks closer to their dad's genetics for bodybuilding. We know that Joseph plans on one day competing in classic physique. He also plans on competing naturally, which I think will be interesting. And I think, honestly, facially, Joseph looks the most similar to Arnold. But with now both of Arnold's sons pursuing some kind of bodybuilding in one way or another, we can kind of get to see how these different genetics play out, um, you know, really depending on how far they push it. Now, I know that earlier this year, if you go back a little bit further on Patrick's Instagram, he posted um, kind of this transformation post back in May where he says that this year or, well, the year's over. So between May of 2021 and now, his plan was to get into the best shape of his life. And he shows a before and after. Um, the first picture, he says, was at 163. And the most current picture of 185 being only 8% body fat. So you can kind of see the pretty dramatic transformation that he's had. Um, and I think he looks a little bit more ripped in the picture here of him working out compared to the picture of him from the beach. But let's, let's take a look at him compared to Joseph Banya next. So again, there is a four-year age gap. And I believe we first started talking about Joseph maybe... Um, how many years has it been? Maybe 2018? Maybe it's been four years now that we've been talking about him um, kind of pursuing bodybuilding and following in his dad's footsteps. He's also um, pursuing an acting career kind of in his dad's footsteps as well. Um, but if you compare the two physiques, both of them, I'm assuming, are natural. I know that Joseph says he is. I don't know really what Patrick's stance is, but to me, he looks like he is natural. Um, again, there's a four-year age gap. Joseph is four years the junior of Patrick, 24 to 28. But I think really the key similarity that Joseph has to Arnold that Patrick doesn't have as much from a physique standpoint is the chest. I think when you look at Joseph's physique, you see kind of that very signature Arnold Schwarzenegger-esque crazy shelf-like chest. I mean, that was one of the things that Arnold was known for. Obviously, the biceps were the other thing. He had crazy mountains for bicep peaks. Um, but the other thing was this giant shelf-like ridiculously proportioned chest compared to the small waist that he had. And I think, you know, while Joseph's clearly isn't on the same scale as Arnold's was, I think he's, he looks a lot more resemblant of that um, than Patrick does. And again, I think that's really the interesting part of this whole conversation, because kind of when you, when you look at the new classic physique division, um, a lot of people say, we're trying to find who looks the most like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to look. Who's going to be the next Arnold? Whose physique most closely re resembles that golden era Arnold Schwarzenegger standard? So with Arnold's kids, though, that's the closest opportunity you're going to get to seeing Arnold on stage again. If we see one of these two guys compete, if we see one of these guys um, pursue classic or pursue men's physique or whatever, um, this is the only opportunity you're going to get to see Arnold's actual genetics on display. So the cool part about looking at these physiques is potentially one day, you know, you could see one of these guys competing, um, you know, in the legacy of Arnold. And realistically, if you think about it, that's the closest we'll ever come to seeing Arnold in his prime 
on stage again. For a lot of us that are young, I'm 28 myself, um, a lot of you guys are probably younger than me, we never got the opportunity to see Arnold compete or see Arnold on stage in his prime live in person. That was all before most of us were born. Now, I know there's some veterans in here, some old timers that are like, what are you talking about? We were there for all of Arnold's Olympia wins. But a lot of us younger guys, we never got to see that. So looking at Patrick, looking at Joseph, I'm kind of hoping that one of these guys, and Joseph said he's going to, um, really pushes a competitive bodybuilding career so we can see those genetics on display. Um, and again, let's put up a picture of Arnold in his youth here. I believe most of these pictures that I pulled of Arnold are below the age of 20 because even from an early age of like 19, um, I think Arnold was was pretty juiced up and pretty good sized. But like I said, when you put the pictures of the sons next to the picture of Arnold, I really think that Joseph has the most resemblance. But I think Patrick kind of pushing it now is cool because, like I said, in the past, he really didn't show any interest. And I believe the son, Christopher, doesn't really have any interest in the bodybuilding stuff. But Patrick at least seems to now, more so than ever, be kind of pushing it. And I don't know if that has anything to do with a lot of, a lot of the uh, publicity that Joseph has been getting because I've been seeing like mainstream coverage of the fact that Joseph um, is pursuing bodybuilding just like Arnold did. And I've seen all kinds of like access Hollywood entertainment tonight, all sorts of little clips on their video blogs talking about Joseph. It's been a really popular talking point and I really haven't seen that as much or really at all for Patrick. So allow me to be the first one. And a lot of people might say, who cares about these kids? What's the point? It's not interesting to me, to a, to me as a bodybuilding fan, it's one of the most interesting things in the world. I'm, I'm one of those people that looks at Arnold from, you know, the cumulative standpoint as the greatest bodybuilder of all time, just the overall impact that he had as a bodybuilder and the legacy that he left as far as the titles that he won. I think he's the greatest ever And looking at him in that light as the greatest ever, the one thing that like I said, I'll never get to see is Arnold on stage in his prime. So looking at his sons, we we do have this potential. If one of them chooses to compete and really push it, we could see a physique very similar to Arnold's, the genetics of Arnold's on display again. Um, and I think seeing both of his sons pursue an interest in this is exciting. And whether or not either of them ends up actually competing, I guess, is besides the point. But I'm curious to get your guys' take on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think that either of Arnold's sons has the potential to push it or to bring their physique um, to a similar point that their dad did? Or do you think neither one of them has any similarities? I've seen that comment as well. And who do you guys think has the better physique, I guess, Patrick or Joseph? I just think it's interesting to document these points because, you know, maybe one day, a few years from now, one of these guys could be competing and be a household name in bodybuilding and earn a pro card. And people say, how did we how do we not know that these guys were going to turn out to be these great bodybuilders? And, you know, what if Joseph goes on to get, get a classic physique pro card and you've got the Schwarzenegger name, well, the Schwarzenegger lineage, the bloodline, he's got a different last name, Banya, on a pro stage again. How cool would that be? We'd be like, how did we not see this coming? So anyway, it's cool to document. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's more important than ever now to like the video now that dislikes are gone. As always, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.